The Cube Energy project that Mika supported is located in Baidoa, Somalia. It's a solar photovoltaic project designed to support the United Nations in decarbonizing their peacekeeping and humanitarian efforts. This was actually a novel commercial solution to support the creditworthiness and bankability of the project. Cube Energy is a company that develops solar-powered solutions in some of the least developed areas of the world. These are countries that are often affected by fragility and war. The plant is estimated to generate around four and a half gigawatt hours per year. For reference, this is approximately sufficient to power around 30,000 households. In addition to supporting the United Nations, the project also has the potential to sell electricity to the government of the Southwest State, other United Nations humanitarian operations, as well as local community through the local energy service provider. The project is unique because most of the electricity generation in Somalia is done by diesel generators. The problem with diesel generation is that it's very expensive to run and needs constant maintenance. By contrast, a solar power plant will generate much cheaper electricity in the long run. We can reduce the price of electricity for the population in Baidoa from around $1 per kilowatt hour today to around 30 cents per kilowatt hour in the next five years. Gaski al list at Malo Haken and Nada Fadare has market. Solar Koha Dor Bide Sauzar in Lehelo and a Coronto Javan. The solar power plant will also have very big implications for reducing the emissions from the UN operations and for the overall electricity generation in Baidoa. We project that the power plant will eliminate around 2.8 thousand tons of reduced CO2 emissions into the atmosphere. The MEGA guarantee is issued for $5.67 million and is designed to cover the investors against the risks of expropriation and war and civil disturbance. During the internal conflict in Somalia, much of the energy infrastructure was destroyed and it's come to the private sector to start rebuilding and providing energy for critical services in the community. Making a big investment in a country like Somalia has a lot of risks. Cube Energy has been very fortunate to work with MEGA on this project. Because the political climate in Somalia is unpredictable, having political risk and civil disturbance guarantees means that we have been able to access affordable capital for the project. The Cube Energy transaction in Baidoa is an important example of MEGA leaning into the most challenging environments to support IDA and FCS countries, as well as the energy transition and decarbonization of existing infrastructure. MEGA's ability to support this transaction was heavily supported by the IDA private sector window, as well as the Renewable Energy Catalyst Trust Fund. Working with the World Bank and having World Bank engaged in some of the conversations with the government has meant that Cube Energy stands much stronger to undo political interference with the project. At MEGA, we have an increasing focus on supporting distributed renewable energy. I see the Somalia transaction as a landmark for MEGA in the types of projects we can support and the type of risk context as well. <laughs> Access to cheap and reliable electricity is fundamental for allowing for other types of development in Baidoa. This allows for the development of commercial business, but it also allows households to connect to most basic necessities.